hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Now we got ears, it's time for a chew. Hot dog, hot dog, the problem solved. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Hot dog! Hey guys, welcome back to day three. Are you ready for some hot dogs? It's the hot dog days of summer. Let's get going. We've got four fun activities again for today. The name of the game is Kick the Can. Any can or bucket will work. You put a can out in the middle of a playing area like this. Can you see the can? All right. The can stays like that. There's one person who's a counter. They're going to count to 100. While the person is counting, everyone else hides. After the counter is done counting, he or she tries to look for the people hiding. If he or she sees them, he calls out their name and where they are, and they have to run back and try to kick the can before the counter does. If the counter kicks the can first, that person has to go in jail, okay? And the jail's just gonna be right here. If the, the, the hider kicks the can first, then the game starts over. Every time you repeat the game, the person who goes to jail first is the next counter. You guys ready to play? You wanna try it? Okay, you want me to count first? I right, close my eyes and count. They're gonna go high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You don't really have to count to 100. You can make up your own rules. You can make it less than 100. You can make it more than 100. It depends on your playing space. All right, we're just gonna pretend that I got to 100. 100! Ready or not, here I come. I see Daddy under the side. Daddy, just sit right here in jail. Natalie's in jail. I'm in jail with that. And what I didn't tell you is that somebody could sneak up on the counter and try to kick the can. And if they do that before I call their name, then that means everyone that's in jail gets out of jail. I don't know if anybody's sneaky enough to try to do that, but I might catch him first. Kick the can, kick the can, kick the can. Oh, yeah. Kick the can, so they're all out of jail. I have to count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. name and their location. All right, I got two in jail. Let's see if I can find the other three. Ready to get under the bench? Uh-oh. You're, You're in jail. We're all in jail. Oh, run, 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 <laughs> All there, right, okay. I've only got one more to find. He's a run, run, he's a run, run. It's not there, it's like you're faster than us. won, so that means, okay, I won. So that means the first person who I got in jail is the next counter. I don't remember if it was Daddy or Caleb. I kind of got the both at the same time. It's a fun game you can play for hours and hours. A mix of hide and seek and tag. Hey guys, it's tic-tac-toe, but you can play this one of three ways. If you're gonna play tic-tac-toe lots of times, instead of using chalk, you can use something else to mark your spots, like stuffed animals or paper plates that are different colors. So this next round, we're gonna show you with paper plates. Some of you third graders already saw how we did it with Frisbees. All right, so you can do it one way similar to that, where you have a long line running way back at the start, then you run down and you have to put your mark on it, and then you run back. Watch this. Okay, the way the game works is, you see I have my two assistants down there. You guys wave. They're standing at a spot down here. And what they're going to do is they will run with their color frisbee down 
stand at the zigzag line, which is right there, and try to toss onto a square. Each time they toss into a square, they run back, then they can get another frisbee. The object of the game is tic-tac-toe. Get three in a row. That's how the game is played. You guys ready? Let's do this. Another way to play tic-tac-toe is you have a baseline, and at the baseline you have to toss a stone or a rock or a button or something, and wherever it lands is where you have to put your X. We're going to play a quick version of that for you right now. See our tic-tac-toe board right back here, and we've got Caleb, and we've got, who's going to play? Me. Remember, you're going to start with an underhand toss. Opposite foot goes forward. You swing your arm, point at the destination where you want your little rock to land. You can also do a rolling movement. Because we learned when we did hopscotch that if you throw that rock, it's going to bounce. But if you roll it, it might land where you want it to go, okay? They make their mark wherever their rock lands. Are you ready, girls? All right, Issa, you go first. Underhand toss. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's how you play it with tossing. Okay. This is our, our last round of tic-tac-toe. Okay. Plank challenge tic-tac-toe. For this, you have to stay in plank position the entire time, okay? I'll be red, Caleb be green. So let's get our pieces. These are just paper plates that we colored so we can use the same tic-tac-toe board over and over and over again. All right, this is gonna be a real challenge. For the entire game, we have to stay in push-out position or plank position. I don't want to see your belly sagging down like this or your tushy wooshy up like this. You got to keep your body straight as a board. Are you ready, Caleb? He's going to start on that side. I'm going to start on this side. Here. You ready? Then he would go here, and that's a cat game. So, if it's a tie game, it's considered a cat game. Whew, that's a hard workout. Keep your shoulders down and back. Try to squeeze your tushy-wishy the whole time. Have fun. This is called ladder drills. It's a challenge. There's so many different patterns you can do. We're gonna show you several, and then you can make up some of your own. All right, let's go. You cannot put your foot on the line no matter what. Are you ready? You gotta have control about where your foot lands. The first one is just super easy. It's just one foot inside each ladder run. Ready? Bump, 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 bump. Then you come back. Bump, 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 bump. Try it. All right, guys. That's one. Here we go with another one. Are you ready for the next one? Ready, Isa? A sideways pattern. Try to bend your knees and get your tutti fruity back, chest up. Here we go. So you're gonna go in and 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 don't fall out. Go back the other way. In and 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 in. Go. Okay. Here comes our next one. It's gonna be a straddle. In in out out in in out out. Here we go. In in out. Try to do it as fast as you can. Ready, go. So as you can see, you're challenging your brain too. Going in, out, in, out. All right, you can try some jumping ones too. So here comes a jumping one, ready? Watch my feet. I'm out, in, 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 out. Turn around, bring it back. So I'm out, in, out. Here we go, 180 jump turn. So, you jump in, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180
Manito. Every time I jump, my toes are facing the opposite direction. See that? Try that one. All right, here we go. A lateral in, in, out, out. This one's a little bit more of a challenge. This is one of a lot of football players do. So you start on the side like this. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. You ready? Try to stay on your toes and move quick. As you can see, there's a ton of different jumps. Make up your own. If you want some more ideas, look for the link down below in the comments. You can get some other ideas. Bonus round, guys. This one you can do one of two ways, okay? The first way is an actual maze. It's an amazing chalk art. Draw a maze on your sidewalk and then travel through it in different levels. Do you guys remember what levels are? What would high look like? What would low look like? What would medium look like? All right, so in this maze, you can travel in different levels, and then the next ways is gonna, the next maze is gonna be different pathways. All right, here we go. Madeline's gonna see how quick she can get through the maze. She cannot cross a line or step on a line. On your mark, get set, go. Ah, uh, she saw me build it. 10 seconds. Okay, Issa, let's see how fast you can get through it. Let's see if she gets turned around. Uh oh, she crossed the line. You gotta come back to the start. Every time you cross the line, you come back to the start. Go, Issa. Go, Issa. There you go. Don't cross the line. All right, challenge yourself. Try it with your bicycle. Try it with skates. Try high levels, try low levels. That one's fun. All right, our second amazing thing, really isn't a maze, but you can do your own sidewalk pathways, different pathways. So pathways are zigzag, curvy. Do you guys remember any other pathways? Curly Q. We, did, we talked about pathways earlier in the year. And just watch this one that we made and then make up your own. Hop, hop, hop. Spiral line, stay on the line. How fast can you do it? Stay on the line. Jump three times. Cartwheel in the grass. Zigzag. Sliding zigzag. Spin three times. Two. Somersault, tuck chin to chest. Weight on your hands. Jump A, B, jump to C, D. G, e, F, G. Good jumping, you got it. Don't give up. Whoa. Log roll. Froggy jump. Run. And do a funky dance. Wow. And whenever you're doing your schoolwork, you can just take a brain break and run outside and try it for five minutes, then run back in. All right, guys. Till next time. And that's it. A hot dog and a wrap. What a fun day, guys. I miss you. It was a hot one. You go, you be safe, you have fun. Till next time. Ah!